Hey everyone, I'm Marty. Welcome back to Satisfactory. In this episode, we are going to build vertical production line. Sort of tower with two manufacturers on each floor to produce mass amounts of computers and heavy modular frames because this is what I need to unlock tier 7 and 8. As you can see, we need 1000 heavy modular frames. 1000 computers and 1000 motors I have already in the storage here, if you don't believe me. Okay, so first let me erase the existing temporary vertical production line, which was pretty lame, I must say. But the manufacturer tower I have in mind will be efficient and effective. All right, all is gone. I'm going to leave the foundation here because why not? And let's find new place for the tower to be built. And I think that the place around here will be good. Close to my main factory base and close to the outpost with a couple production lines going on over there. So let's get to work. Okay, all is clear. Let's build. So let's see. Computer, 32 seconds for one to be produced. 30 seconds for a heavy modular frame. Let's think for the future. So high speed connector, 42, 24 seconds. And crystal, I will not need that, but also 32 seconds. Supercomputer, 32 seconds. So it's let's say 30 seconds average there will be two manufacturers on each floor so i can produce two types of parts at once but to make them be produced fast not using the power shards i say five seconds for each part to come out so if it's 30 seconds on average i will need six floors one manufacturer is around three by three tiles so i will need six by three i will need storages so let's make it six by four it will be better now manufacturers to be placed oh i have plenty of space left around it so now i know what will be the height of each floor there we go one two three four five and six i'm thinking 10 floors that would be average of three seconds per part but it would require massive massive amounts of materials to be delivered to the manufacturers well i made it 10 stores or floors high because why not let's see All right, so that would be 20 manufacturers vertically. It looks like huge server. <laughs> so now, like I said, each vertical row of manufacturers will be connected independently. So I'm gonna use, of course, conveyor lifts, but well, it will be quite tricky because it's four inputs. This is just ridiculous. Why do I have ideas like this? Okay, let's get to work. Couple hours passed. I had to stretch the building because the manufacturers were too close to each other. So now it's wider. Also, I figured the connection, the vertical connection to connect all the inputs of all the 20 manufacturers. Let me show you. Okay, so we are on the top floor of the manufacturer's building and I have here two floors of uh, splitters, simple conveyor splitters, not smart ones. These are the splitters that will go to the inputs of the manufacturers. So there are four splitters on each side. Now, I'm gonna simply delete, erase the foundations, right, like so. 
wall is also not needed anymore. I know it looks silly for now and it's like hanging in the air, but we will fix that. So now, as you can see, there's input here and output here. So I'm going to simply end output here and input here. So what I'm going to do, what I'm doing is connecting outputs with inputs using, of course, conveyor lifts. The tower behind is for the power. As you can see, there are power poles. So this is how it looks like when I connect two floors, right? And then below, there will be here conveyor lift. So it goes like snake run down. And this is, like I said, the last two floors. I've already done eight floors below me. The splitters will distribute one type of material to one certain input they belong to, like it shows here. I was doing some testing, so don't mind the steel beams. Also, the power system is quite complicated, but not so much. So this pole sends power to first and second floor, but second floor sends power to the tower and tower sends power to the third and fourth floor and it goes like this so it's i call it web so let me finish the last connection all right i think it's done i hope i didn't miss anything it's really hard to tell it looks simple right because it's just like s letter turns but uh, it took me a while to figure it out to make it work and uh, i had to set exact spaces between splitters so everything is symmetric and don't and will not tangle up all right and the last one last connection and it's aesthetically pleasing at least for me it looks good it plots nicely and it should work now i know 20 manufacturers will be taking massive amounts of power 55 megawatts so times 20 it's 1100 megawatts right all right let's connect it we'll start it yes yellow lights all the way okay now connect manufacturers and conveyor splitters with conveyor belts okay this was the last floor Everything is connected. Now, everything that is produced in manufacturers have to be brought down to the storage. So uh, instead of splitters, there will be mergers and going the S route. It will be quite simple. I'm gonna make double platform here on each floor, then put merger on each platform, right? and just connect it with conveyor lifts of course there will be faster conveyor belts and faster lifts i'm just doing it now to test it so i'm using the materials that i have the most hence the conveyor belt mark 3 and conveyor lift mark 3 but of course they will be upgraded done going down to the storages separate storages right all right, now input storages to be built and we're gonna finally test it. Four storages here, four storages here. Of course, like I said, it will be coming from the centralized storage where the train station will be somewhere around here in the future. Now this vertical row is set to produce computers to make computers and this heavy modular frames first i'm gonna put heavy modular frame on my list and all the parts i need all the materials are times 1000 so for now i will fill the storages manually it will be a little clunky but in the future of course train and it will be semi-automated so first modular frames Okay, they're going 
if we stand like this, we can see that it's filling up. So everything is working just fine. Awesome. Let's see. I'm on the top floor. I can see that modular frames are in. Circuit boards all the way in. Everything. Yep. So I have turned off entire factory for this moment so I can run 20 manufacturers at once producing computers and heavy modular frames. Let's connect it. There should be like general switch for the power would be cool. All right. Run forest. Run. I actually get frame drop from all that. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go up. The upgrade of conveyor belts is necessary, but as you can see, everything is coming up. The higher, the slower, right? And here we only wait for the screws to be transported up. But hey, it works. All right, so that would be it for this episode. So the only conclusion I have now to optimize the this vertical production line is to just upgrade the conveyor lifts and conveyor belts because they are all Mark III. So the higher they go, the slower they can be. But on the bottom, at the bottom, uh, Mark V conveyor belts and lifts, then Mark IV, for example, or keep them all Mark V and whatever. But yeah, it's quite nice. It takes less space, but vertically it's pretty tall. And yeah, <laughs> it's cool. It's working. It's already 60 computers and over 60 heavy modular frames. It doesn't take as much power as I expected. I expected 1,100, but then again, as you can see, not all the manufacturers work at the same time. So I have to have that reserve of the power. So, okay, that would be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next episode or in other videos. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because it helps a lot, really. And thank you very much for all the subscriptions. And this is my attempt of building vertical production line. Now I need nuclear plant and trains to be connected. Bye.